Planning to hold us up much longer. But can we finally get the fuck out of here? Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzik sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. All right, men. Saddle up. No dawdling. Last one there won't find me a happy man. Where's your master? 
in in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband, when my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... This... These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Come on up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. You can go to hell, all of you. But I'd just like to know. And I'd like for my friends not to be murdered while you sit warm and safe behind those crackle walls. We came just as soon as we could. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. His poor widow. How could anyone be so cruel? They really did slaughter them. Why would anyone do that? They really did slaughter them. Why would they really did slaughter them? Why would anyone do that? Another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it, you useless prick. What in the world happened here? 
The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the others started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? Help you? And how have you helped me? Farewell. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes, but not this time. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarrelled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. I don't know of anyone else. Take care. So much blood. It leads to the pond.
Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. Are you... are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... they deserve it. What... what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... Why did they kill them? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then Smil. He shouted. And they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then Smil? Not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. Now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. What did you ever need to do anyway? So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye, for a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north, into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. Farewell. How could anyone be so cruel? See what they did here? Kill them! Find those four thunders, kill them! How could anyone be so cruel? How could anyone be so cruel? Such senseless brutality. Why? Why? They Why? slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask... I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No. I didn't see a thing.
Aha. This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. They went deeper and deeper, for sure. They went deeper and deeper, for sure. do I have? I won't make it to camp and you know it. You want to leave me here to die in agony? All right, then. How? How should I? Just do it quickly. I always do. You know me. Godspeed, brother. Weak at the knees, have ya? What's the matter? Come on. You'll get that for Yeah. Got <laughs> that. Squash you like the louse you are. Hair gone. Oh. 
Ow. Enough of life, have you?
Why, it's a hoop pick. Someone in Neuhof must know more about him. You know whose hoof pick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Why do you ask? I'm just trying to get the story straight. <laughs> but you won't find Ginger here anymore. He left. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. <laughs> ask Jacob. May the Lord watch over you. Could anyone be so cruel? Any idea where I might find this, Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. 
Well, where could he have fled to? Uh, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. It could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. Well, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Take care now. So many dead fucking bastards. Good evening. Are there any charcoal burners around here? Charcoal burners? I don't know. There are lots of woods around, so there could be some. You'd better ask someone else. Goodbye. Yeah.
bunch of a gob for you. Yeah.
Yeah. I'll be with you. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways, or barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. Take care now. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Good health to you. I'm looking for a ginger-haired boy. I hear he's friends with some charcoal burners. We ain't friends with no redhead. He works as a stable boy in the stud farm. I know where that is, but I don't know no one from there. May the Lord watch over you. If you want to ask questions, talk to me and leave the others in peace. Good day to you. What do you need? Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. A murder's been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late, but that ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice, so how about helping me out? Calm down, lad. For the love of God, there's been no one like the boy you want round here. But then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch, although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No, but they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. All right. I'll go and ask somewhere else. Good luck to you.
Yeah. Over here. Please help me, sir. Please, sir. Help me. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet are frayed to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir, so I can swathe my feet at least? Wait, I'll see what I've got. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I seldom meet such a good Samaritan. God shall repay you. Anytime. Take care now.
God be with you. Has anyone here seen Ginger? That boy from the stud farm? Yes, that's the one. Is he around? No, he's not here. But he passed through not long ago on the way to Kalmburg. Follow the stream to the west and you'll find more charcoal burners there. Farewell. God be with you. Has anyone here seen Ginger? That boy from the stud farm? Yes, that's the one. Is he around? No, he's not here. But he passed through not long ago on the way to Tarnberg. You follow the stream to the west and you'll find more charcoal burners there. God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhof. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, he'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. I really must speak with him. A murder was committed at the stud farm, and that boy probably knows who did it. I have to get him to talk. And you think he had a hand in it? Hard to say. He ran away, but on the other hand, it seems he stabbed one of the attackers. Well, when you put it like that, it's clearly urgent business. I do know him. Uh, not personally, but I've seen him around. He's friends with the charcoal burners down by Townberg. I know he hangs around with the twins there. Downstream by Townberg? Somewhere by the castle? If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, one more thing. Yes? Some other men have been around asking about him, but they weren't as uh, convincing as you. Oh well. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Don't know him. But they told me at the other camp that he comes to visit you. 
Well, they must have got themselves in a muddle. Definitely. There's no ginger that I've ever heard of. Farewell. God be with you. Where are you hiding, Ginger? How did you... What the hell are you talking about? Don't try that one on me. I know he's friends with a pair of twins from here. I'm here on the orders of Sir Hanush, and I need to talk to Ginger about the raid on the stud farm. If Sir Hanush sent you, then you should deal with those two cutthroats who've been creeping around here asking about the poor boy. Won't you take care of them? We won't have to hide him anymore. All right, I'll deal with them. And then you'll tell me where you've got Ginger hidden, right? Right. You get rid of them, and I'll tell you. So where can I find these bandits? I'm not sure exactly. There's lots of places to hide around here. But they came and went over the bridge, so I reckon they must be somewhere between here and our neighbours. That's a lot of woods to comb through. Not all that much. There's a path around there somewhere leading to an abandoned camp. Take care now. What's that? Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a question? Ask first, then I'll ask you something. Really? Good then. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. Then it's a pity neither of us has found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhoff. Hmm? I see. Well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. What's the matter? Come on! Bring it on!
No more food. What's going on? You're in the wrong place at the wrong time.
Yeah. Day to you. You know something about Ginger? I might have heard something, and if you share a bit of silver with me, I might share what I know. I'm investigating a crime, not bartering for a chicken. Well then, I'm sure you've got some silver on you. Just give it to me, and it'll be a done deal. And what if I bashed your face in and had you dragged off to the stocks in Ratai? No need for that. All I wanted was a bit of silver, and instead I get the whip. Spit it out, will you? Well, fine. I've heard that they're hiding him in some remote cottage, at the edge of the forest on the way to Ujits. That didn't hurt too much now, did it? May the Lord watch over you. My respects to you. You don't have to worry about those bandits anymore. I've dealt with them. Really? 
And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right. A bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled, though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. Take care now. It's not my fault. There was nothing I could have done to help. I was frozen solid. I couldn't even open my mouth. I couldn't even get a peep out. They would have killed me if I'd said anything. I couldn't stop what happened. I'm not to blame. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate? Killing? 
Me? I, I never killed anyone. It's God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognize? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed it. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talk to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. Then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. And that was terrible, like hell itself. And then... It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. Th there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away and... God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats.
Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Good afternoon. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognized him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. Why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now I'm supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sahanish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. I'd definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. Take care. Yeah. Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. Take care. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Can return home. It was hard work to convince them, so please don't get into trouble when you go back. Thank you. I'd like to give you something, but I've got nothing except 
if you're ever traveling by way of Neuhof, stop by and I'll show you something with the horses. Yeah. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? My Lord. I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? But the boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujits, I'll ask around. Someone will know something about him. All right. Better go to Ujits then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Mehoyed and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. May the Lord watch over you. Good day to you. I'll be with you. Greetings. What do you need? Good luck then. <laughs> <laughs> 